Hey guys, look, I'm back from vacation. I had a great time drinking margaritas, looking at fish, and all that kind of vacation stuff. So I figured what better way to come back down to reality than looking at an awful game on Steam. So welcome to a new series that I'm calling The Worst. Why do I even do this to myself? I can get a real job. You know, make a difference in the world. So let's hop right in. Now, Axe Survival isn't the worst rated game on Steam. That honor seems to go to Flat Out 3 for whatever reason. But I did find Axe Survival just a few pages away. At first, it doesn't look all that special. Oh, another survival game slapped together to make a quick buck on Steam. But after reading the game's description, I knew we had a winner. Remember, there's three important rules on this Axe adventure. Collect your loot to defend yourself, build your house, and build your house. Who even cares if the very first impression you make on a potential customer has spelling mistakes? Whatever, right? It's like they knew about the rule of thirds, but just couldn't come up with one more, oh, whatever. But let's not be so quick to judge. Hey, I've made mistakes before. Yes, I know Kill House was from Call of Duty 4 and not Modern Warfare 2. Yes, I know Iron Sight has shotguns in the secondary tab. And let's not forget, oh, there's no way Battlefield 1 is going to be World War 1. That would just be stupid. Announcing War Bonds 599 gets you 2,000 War Bond points to buy additional bayonet skins and cigarettes. But forget about the description. Let's just let Axe Survival speak for itself. Ugh, you ever just install something on your computer and think, yeah, I need to burn that hard drive after this? Booting up the game gives us the classic Unity launcher, always a seal of quality. There we go, Ultra. I want to see this game at its best. All right, here we go. Oh, good, I enjoy doing my reading just before the nukes drop. Hello, Two Big Island. Take advantage of the opportunity to you. Hello to Big Island. Take advantage of the opportunity offered to you to get out of here. Spend 30 days on the island. Okay, so according to this, I'm an alien crash landed on Earth because my interstellar spacecraft ran out of gasoline? Hey, Jimmy, fill her up and get the windshield while you're at it. All right, let's create a character, and yes, everyone remembers the classics. The warrior, the healer, the spellcaster, and the... Vold? I am Anthony CSN the Vold, ready for adventure. Whoa! Good view of the ground to start with. Oh. Oh, God. All right, I don't know if I was ready for this. The first thing I see is a wolf I think I have to fight. Have at you, beast! I will punch you! Is that really my punch? It looks more like he's knocking back a cold one. Can I punch trees? Survival games have taught me to punch trees. Listen to that sound effect. Blam! That's like, <laughs> that's like a kung fu. Like, whoa, you can knock someone's head off with that. I could put that in a movie. Obliterating that tree with my fists gets me a whopping one wood. A hint at the tedium that's to come. Wait, in my inventory, is that... My god, yes, the game's namesake has shown itself! The Axe of Legend! Alright, it's Axe Survival now. Take this tiny two-dimensional tree. It's a two-dimensional tree, look at it! With my mighty axe in hand, I march forward into this unsuspecting world. Or at least I can... Cr oh my god, look at my scoot! Look at my little scoot! As night falls, though, I really start to question my purpose here. I'm kind of directionless because in Axe Survival, you have to figure out your own location using landmarks and other hints. Now, this could actually be seen as good design. I wish more games did this instead of a big yellow dot saying, go here, go here. But here I'm convinced they just couldn't figure out how to put the little arrow on the map. We have to survive 30 days. Isn't this day two? Wasn't the other day day one? So why is it day one still? I don't get it. You think the sun going down and coming back up means a day has passed? Wrong! Us mortals have such a limited understanding of time. Hear me as the gods have spoken. Two rotations of the sun will equal one day, hereby replacing the one rotation system, effective immediately. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, but why? why? Oh, I don't know, I think they just like fucking with us. Time crawls by in Axe Survival, and it's not gonna try and make it any easier for you. You gotta like keep moving or it doesn't do it. It's like, it's like in Rust where they implemented that whole, you know, X feature, except this one just did it on accident because it sucks. When you get really, really hungry, the game actually warns you. You're so hungry. Okay, that was a microwave going off. Yeah, well, you know, 
I mean, I'll hand it to the developer. When I'm hungry, the first thing I think of is boop, boop, boop. My food's ready in the micro. Oh, God. Out of nowhere, a zombie attacked. Come at me, beast. Oh, God. Oh, it's a prisoner. It's a prisoner zombie. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, they're less of a threat than I thought they'd be. Combat with the axe is so simplistic. You just back up and swing, that's it. For a game called Axe Survival, I at least expected that element to be a little more fleshed out than the rest, and guns aren't much better. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, they just show up! They're not even fair! Eh, 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 eh! I'm out of ammo already! Oh god, there's a whole zombie army! Zombie army! Oh, and I'm hungry, and I'm thirsty, and I really want to drink! Oh, Jesus! Oh, this is not a battle I can win. Maybe not. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ah! I feel bad, though. Look what I've done to these people's lives. They were just going about their normal days in the Russian army or being locked in prison or at the zoo. Considering the timeline this world seems to be on, maybe this is for the better. There must be a prison around here. Is, is a prison on the map? Did they, is there a prison? Military base. But there's no prison? There should be a prison. Because then it would make sense that there's, you know... 1950s prisoner garbed zombies. Dead bodies still make noise, which is weird because nothing in the game is ever really gone. No one's ever really gone. If you attack an animal or a zombie or even a tree, they just kind of disappear for a bit and then come back. It came back! The tree came back! Ah, monkey! They, they, they get, you, you chop down a tree, they disappear the tree for a little bit, and then the tree comes back! I knew it! Same goes for items. It's always the same items in the same locations again and again. It is not random. All right, I'm hungry though. I need, I need food. Is this food? <gasps> Gun. Gun. Clips. Food. I need food. Not. Oh, food. But hey, look, this game has my favorite brand. Food. I found banana. Eat banana. Oh my god, these things do not feed you very well. I know a day-night cycle only lasts like 15 minutes in this game, but I didn't expect them to fit three full meals a day in there. Because of that, the few animals that are around become your main source of food, filling at least half of your bar with an entire bear. Wait, the bear comes back, doesn't it? <gasps> of course it comes back! Guys, we are gonna fucking farm the shit out of this bear. So you end up just living near a lake to fight off thirst and continually walk to town, pick up crap, kill a bear, and repeat again and again and again. It just becomes a test of like, what can the game handle and then manipulating that to get to the end. I, I don't believe that zombies have the ability to even get to the second floor of a building. Let's go, ah, 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 oh God. They get on the second floor. We're not safe, we're not safe. There's no chest to store items in and they just keep coming back. So I just started leaving shit on the ground. Where else am I gonna put it? And with that, the more the game has to keep track of, the worse the frame rate gets. You know what's weird though? Check this out, okay? Look, the, right now the frame rate is amazing. Like, it's perfect. But as soon as I unpause the game and all of the game's systems have to like run, then, it all lags to shit. I know everyone always says this, but this really does look like a Nintendo 64 game, frame rate and all. Whoa, hey gamer, have you heard about the killer new game coming to Nintendo's latest console, the Nintendo 64? Featuring amazing 64-bit 3D graphics, it's gonna look like the game's coming right at you. Featuring six unique enemies and four special weapons and the game's titular axe, you'll be destroying enemies in a field four times bigger than Hyrule Field. Watch out, Ocarina of Time. And remember, this show is brought to you by food. Food does not support gratuitous violence in video games and is a proponent of the ESRB rating system. So look, I really wanted to say that I suffered through this game for you guys, that I spent all 30 days in this hellscape and came out the other end a better man, but no. Why don't I just stand here, repeatedly dying and respawning, until day 30 shows up? Fuck it! <laughs> After getting to day four, I at least figured I should look at the game's other classes to see if it's any different. I am no longer Anthony CSN the Vold. I am now Test Guy, the Protector. And it's exactly the same. Your hair's a little bit longer, so I presume Protectors have a higher level of keratin in their system, but that's about it. Uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to Anthony CSN. What? As one last screw you, the game resets you back to day one if you leave. I mean, really, am I the crazy one? There's a character select screen. You have a character. I don't think it's a stretch to think the game is saving your progress. I'm sorry! What? <laughs> it... It's supposed to save the game! When I... When it's... What the... What the fuck is the point? 
But seriously, at this point, it was over. I went to the spaceship and nothing happens. Nothing appears to be happening. Nothing, okay, nothing's happening. Let's try the ramps. All right, going up. We're up on the spaceship now. We're on the space trap. Here's the fire. Burn me. Burn me, fire. Burn me. Ah! I have survived with an ax. I thought maybe I could glitch it out and trigger the end cutscene or something, but then I realized, I don't care. I don't care about this world, I don't care about saving these people, and I don't care what happens on day 30. I could get back to my ship, fly into space, discover a planet with 45 clones of me, each containing the answer of why are we here, and even then, I don't think it'd be worth it. So really, I think I said it best before. Fuck it! <laughs> This is the very first episode of The Worst, so of course Axe Survival has the honor of being the worst game I've played, but still, it's gonna take something pretty special to outdo this game. So congratulations, Axe Survival. Right now, you're the worst. Enjoy. So that was different, but hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I felt like doing something different instead of the usual worth my time stuff. I wanted to make something fun. I got an axe. I ate some food. I had a good time. But uh, let me know what you guys thought about this video. I guess I can't really ask you about what you think about the game. So just uh, have a nice day. I'll see you next time. <laughs>